Are you looking for an all-around great, versatile hunting pants and shirt? If so, stick around and I'll show you what I have deemed to be a great product for you. What is good everybody? It's your boy Cameron, back at it again from Getting It Outdoors. Um, today I have the Mossy Oak 2.0 Cotton Mill shirt and pants. Well, let's start with the shirt. So this is the shirt, the Mossy Oak Cotton Mill 2.0 original bottomland shirt. Um, so these are super sturdy clothing. I have had these for a year and there's no rips, tears, anything like that. They are super, super comfortable. Uh, they're dressy if you want to wear them dressy. They're nice hunting clothes um, So let's start with the sleeves The sleeves are There's three buttons in the sleeves so that way you can unbutton it and roll it all the way up if you want uh, You can go from a loose wrist fit to a tight wrist fit with the second button Depending on you know the size of your person and whatnot. Uh, moving on down here, we have two front pockets. This one right here, and this one right here. Uh, you, this is a button up. It is not zip up, and the collar is a button down collar. The difference between a button up and a button down. The button down means the collar buttons down. A button up means that you just button up the front. You're done. The collars are button down. So if you want to unbutton these and flip them up, you can do that. Uh, I do that in the duck blind all the time. You go from, you know, a regular collar to covering up pretty much the back of your head. So if this was the back of my neck and it was sitting back there, I'd get this much extra coverage. This inch and a half right here. In the armpits, there are these holes that are good for vents if it's hot outside or something like that you can just lift your arms up go like this and you're gonna puff in air from the armpits i do that all the time when i'm squirrel hunting or something like that i'll lift up my arm and just go like this it'll puff air out and suck air in these don't get too hot believe it or not even though they're a thick cotton shirt they do not get hot but when they get wet, they stay wet because it is cotton and cotton does like to soak. Other than that, this is the Mossy Oak Original Bottomland pattern. You know, super vibrant. This has probably been through the washing machine probably a hundred times. And this is what it looks like. Still looks super good. Whenever you first get it in the mail, I would suggest taking it and washing it in a kind of rough wash because it looks super, super fake when you get it at first. It doesn't look worn in. Um, just super, super bright colors. And the woods isn't a super bright place to be. So we're gonna transfer over to the pants now. So these are the pants. These are super, super nice. Um, I, for some reason, I wear the crotch out on a lot of pants and whatnot, a lot of pairs of jeans, because I'm a, I'm a big boy, I got thick thighs. Uh, but on these, I have not worn the crotch out. Uh, they are super well constructed. They have uh, ball chiller vents right here. Um, those are really nice. When it gets hot, you just spread your legs a little and take a crouch, boom, suck some air in, cool your nuts off. The pockets. Uh, are designed a really nice way. I like these pockets. Instead of just having a, a cut like just flat like how jeans are, um, they have this little spot right here that you can clip a knife to or something like that and it's flat at the bottom and then curves and these are deep, deep pockets. Look at this. Deep pockets. They go all the way up to here on my wrist for me to fit my pot hands in the pockets. So if you want to be super light when you're hunting, you can just stick stuff in the pockets and whatnot, and it's not going to fall out. I've never had anything fall out of these pockets. Um, the back of the pants here is kind of a stretchy material. Um, personally, what I liked about these is I put them on and then stretch these out as far as I could, and then took this strap right here. If you don't have a belt, a belt or you don't want to wear a belt, just pull this, unvelcro it, velcro it back. Boom. Now, 
you've got a belt on both sides. It's got those retainers. I don't even know what you can call those, but yeah, those haven't broken. These plastic things right here, super strong, super tough. Um, the belt, or the zip, this is a zipper on the front here, and there's one big, big button on the front. The only complaint I have about these pants is this, um, where the button goes in, kind of frayed out a little bit. Not a big deal. It just takes us a little second to get the button back in. But two pant pockets on the back and it's like kind of a cargo pant right here you got um, pockets on each side of the leg it has extra knee support it's like double layered in the knee so that way you don't wear it out during one of my turkey hunts I could have easily worn the pair out of a worn the knees out of a bad pair of jeans or something like that because I was crawling. I probably crawled 600 yards to get up to these turkeys because my buddy just wanted to shoot one with a bow so fucking bad. Um, but yeah, just we were crawling up and we crawled for 600 yards over sticks and everything else and my knees didn't hurt, uh, nothing like that, and it didn't rip any holes in the knees. Um, so that's another good thing about these. They're kind of double layered on the knees. In the bottom of the pant leg here, there are these uh, ribbons, I guess you could call them, that allow you to tie these up around your feet. What I do is I will either, I will take these, stretch them down around the bottom of my feet and then tie them underneath my the arch of my foot. Um, so that way when I put boots or something on, it slips right into the boots. Because when I hunt, I wear slip on like muck style boots, unless I'm, uh, deer hunting then I'll wear tie boots. I hope y'all liked the video. If you did and you think that I've earned your subscription, if you would hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. If you've made it this far, leave a comment down below that says, hey, my favorite mossy oak camo pattern is, and then name your favorite mossy oak camo pattern. Um, my favorite mossy oak camo pattern would have to be the original Bottomland. Uh, but some others are coming my favorite really quick, especially like, uh, like I like the really old camo patterns, like Mossy Oak Breakup. Um, it's super cool. It's like Bottomland under, like as the back pattern, but then it's got like leaves and stuff in there. It's just, it's super, super cool. And I wish they would produce some more Mossy Oak Breakup camo because I would buy out their whole stock for duck season. But anyways, y'all. If I have earned your subscription, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. Um, like I said before, comment down below what your favorite uh, Mossy Oak camo pattern is. And I will see you on the next one.